Hello everyone. Uh, Criterion Collection announced a monumental 40 film box set to celebrate their 40th anniversary uh, with a mix of classic and contemporary films. And I would like to discuss uh, the contents and design of the box set as well as the implications it has for the boutique Blu-ray collecting community and its future, I suppose. The set includes a number of great films. I mean, just looking through them, you have Tokyo Story, Bicycle Thieves, um, Yee Yee, The Night of the Hunter, Sweet Smell of Success, so on and so forth. Uh, it's a set with many great films. And for someone that's just discovering boutique Blu-rays for the first time or some one who is 17, 18 years old and is discovering their love for film. This is almost like the perfect box set. They can get a whole host of movies for a somewhat affordable price and they can do it all in one go. The box set is similar both in size and in design to their Bergman set that they released in 2020, I believe. The discs also seem to be sleeved in the uh, pages, similar to the Bergman or the Wong Kar Wai box set. So I don't think there's any concern about them doing something unusual or mishandling the uh, discs. Like a lot of people complained about the placement of the discs in the pages, but you know what? I own both sets and all of the discs are fine even when I've moved twice now and sometimes just flip through them and see if the discs are okay or just to read the booklets. Um, the main problem I have with this release is that a number of these movies have already been released on 4K or will be in the future. For example, the... Uh, movie In the Mood for Love has already been released in 4K by Criterion, uh, but I don't believe it will be here. Uh, Do the Right Thing has received a studio release in 4K for probably like $15, $20, maybe cheaper, depending on if you visit a secondhand store. Um, on the Waterfront is releasing in Columbia Classics new uh, volume, at the end of this year on 4K. It is not in 4K here. Uh, Barry Lyndon may eventually receive a 4K and it is not in 4K here. His Girl Friday has already been released in the Columbia Classics box set in 4K. It is not here. Tokyo Story has received a 4K restoration. Whether it will ever receive a 4K disc is unclear. But the latest Blu-ray from BFI, for example, does include that new restoration. The one included here is from 2009. Uh, I mean, Night of the Living Dead also has a 4K. It will be a Blu-ray here. The list goes on. My point is that in terms of value for the money, uh, I suppose it's a good purchase. Uh, but a lot of these are aging masters for the films that have or will receive a 4K disc in the future. And I can't imagine someone who already owns many of these films or who has a 4K Blu-ray player will look at this set and be like, I'm willing to buy all of these movies that I may already have some of them and only ever have them on Blu-ray because why would you pay that much money and then also double dip and get an expensive 4K disc? Like, I just can't imagine buying this first and then being like, you know what? I love Night of the D Living Dead so much. I'm going to sh shed 30, 35, depending on where you live, dollars for the 4K disc as well. Um, and kind of the broader implications this has for the community is that I feel like Despite the context for this set, which is to celebrate the anniversary, I find that a lot of boutique companies are cashing in on the uh, attraction many collectors have to buying bulky, beautiful box sets that cost a fortune. And frankly, the whales uh, that will just collect anything. 
I mean, there are YouTubers, and they're great, mind you, that will just collect anything Criterion releases. I mean, everything, including laser discs, DVDs, um, maybe some things they already own because it released in the UK, so they want both the US and the UK edition. Um, so I just find it concerning that anyone would really consider buying this. I mean, even if you were to get this on sale uh, in July or November or during one of the flash sales, I imagine that if you really were patient, you could go on Facebook or Kijiji in Canada or maybe eBay and get a lot of these Blu-rays at a discounted price and maybe even get them all cheaper just separately. Like, yes, it would take some extra time to find all of them individually at decent prices, but I just don't see how someone could be interested in all of these and want them all at once. Uh, especially if you could find them, the ones you actually know you want at cheaper prices and get the booklets for each one in the case where you, um, maybe you feel like it's safer to have its own case rather than the sleeves, which are actually okay, but maybe you feel like the case is better. The thing is that one of the discs includes um, a number of the closet tour videos where filmmakers, actresses, so on and so forth, uh, just throw a bunch of Blu-rays in a bag, maybe talk about them for a few minutes. But all of these videos are free on YouTube. Like this is not an exclusive supplement only to be found on this box set. Uh, I don't know. A lot of the writing found in the booklets are all available in the individual releases. I imagine some of them will need to be omitted from this release. Surely they can't fit all of the essays in one enormous booklet. Maybe they will. I don't know. Um, I also find that it kind of reinforces the idea that Criterion can kind of recycle a lot of their uh, packaging in their masters. For example, BFI is releasing Seven Samurai on 4K Blu-ray in November, and it will have a new book, uh, a hard a hard cardboard box with a new artwork on it, um, new special features. But I suspect that Criterion will release the same package that they have for the Blu-ray but just include a new disc and the same features and the same booklet in the same way that they've done for other 4Ks. So I just don't see how this is an exciting announcement. Um, if I was to gift this to like a 17 year old kid who's never watched a Criterion movie in his life or is going to film school and he wants like a starter pack of great 40 movies to watch before you die, excellent. But, uh, I think you can get all these movies at a cheaper price, sign up for the Criterion channel, and actually watch them before you have to spend this much money, uh, buy the 4Ks that are already available, sometimes at cheaper prices, like do the right thing. Um, I don't know, man. Like the prices for a lot of these boutique releases are skyrocketing. Uh, and if you look at a recent uh, Vinegar Syndrome release, Opera, like it's not uncommon for their releases to be more expensive because they kind of go all in on packaging and stuff like that. But it was priced at $100 and then on discount for $80 for someone, I think, outside of the US. But that's, that's insane. And that feels like where the market is going. Like it feels like the bubble will burst at some point. Um, like... In Canada, where I live, a Criterion brand new, not on sale, 4K, is $53. And if you go to, uh, like, a boutique store in person, they'll be selling them for, like, $75. Obviously, you wouldn't necessarily do that. You can go on Unobstructed View or on Facebook, uh, even on the Criterion website, um, and pay USD and import fees, whatever. It'll still be cheaper, but holy cow, man. Criterion is maintaining the premium prices and not necessarily innovating. And I feel like that reflects both 
poorly on Criterion and better on other labels, but also reflects overall kind of stagnating uh, nature of, of this community or of this scene. I don't know. I haven't uploaded a video in quite a while. I kind of just felt like I wanted to say some stuff about this topic in particular. If you have positive or negative comments to say about the announcement or this video, feel free. I, I really don't mind. Uh, like, I watched a lot of the films, including the set, and they're great. I can see how someone would be like, I need this. Look at all the great films. I'd love to just go through them one by one and read the big book while I watch them. But money, like, you can watch these without paying this much money, really. Uh, I'm not sure if Criterion has already announced or will announce the other November titles uh, by the time I finish making this video. I really hope they have other titles to announce for November because uh, they'd be ashamed to have to wait till December outside of the sale to get any new stuff. Uh, so yeah, I will be back with more boutique videos, I think. I have some Blu-rays I like to talk about. Uh, I try not to spend a fortune on them, but sometimes I do. But I will not fall for this one. I will not. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll chat later.